Secured security strapped with AR-15s or shotguns, standing guard and walking the property of this North Philly gas station and convenience store. This is supposed to be a city, right? And you got your kids walking around. Guns like this would be on the battlefield. Corey Berry says she's on board with it. If you're trying to get gas, you live in a bad area, and the only place is here, and they're getting robbed all the time. I mean, I support the owner. Neil Patel is the manager of this Carco shop franchise at Broad and Clearfield. We are tired from this all nonsense, robbery, drug trafficking, racketings, all kind of hanging around your all gangs. He shared with me these videos of what has led up to this drastic response to crime at his business. Over the past few weeks, he says his store was trashed by young people, an ATM stolen out of the store, and he says his car was vandalized while parked at the store. They're forcing us to hire the security, high level security, state level. I am fearful for my safety of my employee as well as my nice neighborhood. All customer. So three weeks ago, he hired the Pennsylvania site state agents. We were Kevlar. We are trained. My guys go to training every other week. They're proficient with this. They're proficient with their taser. They know the laws. Andre Boyer is the chief of the company. As a Pennsylvania state agent, that's what it says. The law tells us that we have a right to protect this property in any, any means necessary and whatever force necessary to be used to protect it. This man told employees he's against it. I asked Patel about it. They feel like using guns, you know, when we have such a big problem with guns in the city is is not the right message. And that's not a right I understand that, but according to the some people, violent people, they carry the gun. Then they're not afraid then, and this is the protection for neighborhood and the customers. All right, so you heard him. He just said that uh, people who are against this are concerned about the armed security, but they should be concerned about the bad guys who are out there carrying the guns. Meanwhile, Patel says that he's had a store there for about 20 years. He said the crime has gotten increasingly worse just over the past few years. Um, and he tells me that in the past three weeks, he hasn't had any issues with the crime since bringing this company mm. on. How All right, shalom, shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, while Racha Kadash was Yahweh. That's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai. That's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's his true name. And Racha Kadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. And uh, we just watched that video, okay? And, uh, you know, as we saw, you have. A particular gas station out there in Philly, okay, you know, they've um, hired, you know, high level, you know, armed security due to the fact that, you know, crime is increasing, okay? You know, we saw the, how they vandalized, you know, his store, stolen ATM. I'm sure, you know, you there's uh, incidences um, <clears throat> at that gas station where People are getting, you know, carjacked, robbed, etc. Okay, you know, and he like how he said they there's um, drug trafficking there, <clears throat> so on and so forth, and basically he's tired of it. You see, but one thing that uh, kind of caught my attention was how he said the crime has been drastically increasing the past few years. Okay, and I'll say this: what's happened in the past few years? The rise of inflation. The, uh, the rise of these um, district attorneys throughout the United States that are very lenient on, you know, persecuting these uh, criminals, all right? <clears throat> and just overall, the, you know, um, the lack of jobs, okay, in the United States, I don't hold. Let me, let me rephrase it: the lack of good jobs in the United States. Okay, you know we're seeing a um, a collapse of a, a society right now, right before our eyes. And I'll say this: these things are all systematically designed, all right, because ultimately, the elites, they, are purposely setting things in place, okay, in order to get, you know. Their new world order in motion, okay? They want, you know, chaos in the streets 
So then they're, they're justified in bringing, uh, bringing in the martial law. They want the crimes to continue. They want the uh, <clears throat> lack of resources. Because look, <clears throat> I'll say this. Another, another thing. If there's a lack of resources, okay, and in particular, those essentials such as food, water, medical, you know, supplies, you know, etc., right? You take those things away, people are going to be forced to commit crimes, all right? And that's basically, in a sense, what's happening. Now, you still have a lot of people out there that are, you know, on BS, you know, they're just basically little, you know, hoodlums, little thugs, okay? Just, you know, a bunch of no goods, all right? You do have that, but you you do have a percentage of, the you know, these people who are robbing, they're doing it because they need the essentials. It's not because they really want to do this. It's because they don't have anything. Like I said, they, they may have gotten laid off from their job. They may have... Um, <clears throat> um, oh, I was, the, the cost of living is so high that now they're, they're forced to, you know, to choose to pay, um, you know, the rent or food. All right? So on and so forth. You see? It's getting bad out here, all right. But here, uh, here's another art, uh, um, article, all right. And uh, I'll just read the headline: Walmart CEO warns that retail giant could hike prices or shut down some stores. You see, shut down stores, and that's what Esau wants. That's what he really wants. And uh, yes, the, uh, hiking the prices too, but really, it's shutting down them stores because that's going to lead to uh, people, you know. Doing desperate things because of desperate times, all right? And it says, it says, shut down some stores if historical high thefts at the chain continue and prosecute, prosecutors lack uh, approach to dealing with criminals is not correct, all right? And then, uh, you know, I read a little bit of this article, which, you know, you could read it yourself, all right? I'm not going to read it due to, um, you know, for time's sake, but basically, you know, this particular uh, CEO, all right, you know, the, the the CEO of Walmart, you know, he was basically saying that, you know, these district attorneys, they're they're they're, they're just too lenient. They're they're too lax, all right? They they don't do anything. Okay? They don't do anything to these criminals and this is why these things are happening. But like I said, this is all systematically designed cuz a guy like this, he he he's uh plugged into the system, all right? Guys like uh, uh, you, you know your uh, uh, you know local district attorney, he's plugged into the system, all right. And then just another uh, quick article, all right, that I saw. This is in the UK, but I'm sure this is happening also here in the states. People eating pet food and heating meals with candles due to cost of living crisis. You see, so things are happening worldwide, all right. And like I said, all these things are gonna uh, lead. All right, to, 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 to mass chaos, okay? You see? All right, and let's get some scriptures now. Sorry for the long, you know, opening, but, you know, I had to get, you know, get that out real quick before starting. But this is uh, 2 Ezra 15 and 14, and it reads here, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. And ultimately, uh, 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 much destruction is coming, all right, to this wo uh, entire world. Doesn't matter if you live in the United States, in Europe, in Asia, in the Middle East, Africa, South America, all right, does, it, 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 this this uh, uh, great judgment is coming, all right, from the Heavenly Father. You cannot escape the, you know, the wrath of the Lord, okay? The only time you will be able to escape or, you know, you will have, I'll say it like this, the only time you can escape is if, <clears throat> is if you've been uh, um, putting in, the, you know, these uh, righteous works, okay? You've um, been, you know, sacrificing righteously. You've been doing the, you know, the, the will of the Lord, all right? And ultimately, the Lord having mercy on you. And the only ones that are going to get mercy are the elect of the nation of Israel. The rest of you people, you're going to get judged. And if you do survive, all right, all this chaos, if you're a heathen, you're going into slavery right afterwards. You see? But let me keep reading. This is uh, 2 Ezra 15 and 15. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. Okay, you see? 
people are going to be fighting one against another. And that's because there's going to be lack of food, uh, you know, lack of basically resources. You're going to have a mixture of race riots, uh, uh, class riots. You know, there's going to be food riots out here. So on and so forth. There's, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on in the very near future. Okay? Verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men and evading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And this is when, you know, the people are going to rise up against the government. And you're already seeing that now, you know, throughout, um, the, you know, throughout the world. And you, you see, um, I'll say a mild uh, a form of it, you know, happening here in the U.S., okay? You might see, you know, people, you know, basically, you know, fight against the cops. They might get in a shootout. All right. You, you, you see things on the news of um, particular politicians being targeted by particular, um, you know, ra radical groups. In particular, these white militias. OK, those are the ones who are really doing it. All right. You know, your good old boys, as they call them, the constitutionalist. You see, these are the ones that are getting ready you know, prepping and preparing to, 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 to fight the government because they know that the government's actually going to come down with, you know, that great wrath. They're going to come down with, you know, with force. So they're trying to prevent these things because, see, they, um, since, like I said, they believe in the Constitution, they believe in, um, you know, that Second Amendment where it talks about the right to bear arms, okay? And then it talks about, uh, you know, to protect yourself, whether it be from a, a foreign or domestic, all right, you know, enemies, okay? They don't care, you know, that these are, quote unquote, you know, U.S. politicians and, and all that. They don't care. They see them as a, d d a domestic enemy, you know, and they got to protect their constitutional rights. They have to stop, uh, uh, you know, uh, this, uh, this tyranny. That's, the, that's what, how they see it, all right? There's going to be a clash. And that's going to, you know, like I said, things like this are going to justify martial law. All right. And we're going to get it because this is prophetic. This is in the Bible. These things will come to pass. Second Ezra 15 and 17 now. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. That's when they uh, uh, um, enforce martial law. And that's when these sh cities, all right, are going to be completely shut down. They, you, you know, we got a glimpse of these things. All right. During the you know the um, the CV you know nineteen crisis slash uh, 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 you know BLM slash uh, what is that Antifa you know riots. Okay, we've seen these things already. At least it was out here in Chicago. I'm sure it was out uh, in, in other cities too. Okay, you know out here in Chicago, you had the downtown area closed off. Okay. You know, you, you, you had troops literally blocking things off. And you were able to get through, you know, if you uh, had, um, you, know, you know, business down there or if you were a resident, you know. But you couldn't just freely, you know, go around. And I'll say this, because I was uh, working during that time period. You know, it, it was very, you know, um, lenient. Things, you know, were, you know, it was just my, it, put it like this, there was my, a mild form of martial law. They were just showing you what they could do. All right. You know, like I said, it was easy to get, you know, through things. But when, when you know, this chaos, you know, erupts when all hell's breaking loose and it, it's not going to be friendly out there. I'll say this. You, you're going to have situations where the, the troops. All right. They're going to get their orders. To kill on site. They're going to say, hey, look, if anybody passes that particular line, that that marker right there. You shoot them. Okay, you give them one warning before they, you know, uh, pass that particular marker. And the second they pass it, you, you are ordered to shoot them on sight, kill them on sight. And that's that. You see? And that's going to lead to um, the lack of, you know, goods being transported, you know, in your local neighborhood. And with that being said... When there's, like I said earlier, when there's a lack of food, water, medical supplies, okay, you know, heat, 
all that, you know, electricity, when it all goes, you're going to see how crazy people are going to get. All right. But let's keep reading. This is 2nd Ezra 15 and 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be destroyed. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. And this is why these things are happening. Okay. This is why these things are happening because these people are prideful. Okay. And the Most High hates pride. And if you have pride, that means you're not following the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shem Al Shai. That's in Sirach, the, uh, tw I believe, the 10th chapter, maybe the 12th chapter. And it goes into that. How when, uh, uh, you know, when one you know, has pride, he departed from his maker, as the scriptures say. Okay? And that means you're sinning. And when you're, you're sinning, you're, you're committing iniquities. And then wickedness is increasing then. All right? And then this is what we see in this world. It's full of evils. All right? And let's go up, actually. Okay, let's get these two scriptures real quick. This is uh, 2 Ezra 15 and 5. It says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. This is why the Lord is um, planning on, you know, destroying the, this, you know, this system. Because wickedness hath... Uh, exceedingly polluted the whole earth. This is why the sword, famine, death, and destruction is coming. Because these people are just wicked out here. All they do is commit, you know, idolatry, you know, adultery. They steal, rob, murder, do drugs. They're into witchcraft. You know, they're rebellious against the Most High, so on and so forth. There's so many things. Okay, so many things. And these people don't care. So the Lord is going to, uh, 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 you know, <clears throat> force them to be humble. And he's just going to destroy people, man. All right? And he's going to do it through various plagues. All right, but let's get uh, let's get this let's get, and, and continue the lesson. This is uh, 2 Ezra 15 and 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. This is what's coming. Okay? People killing one another because there's a lack of resources. Right now, people are committing, you know, all these crimes. While you're able to still go to your local, you know, Walmart, Target. Okay? Your local, you know, hamburger shop. You know? Go to the gas station. They they're, they're they're doing these things now. So how much more, when it, you know the you know the necessities are stripped from them. You know, like, like I told, hey, I, I I say this a lot. You know, I tell you know the brothers too. You know, just imagine these people not having, you know, cigarettes. Imagine them not having their um. You know their uh, their medication. You know, they're antidepressants, they're Zan you know, they're Zannies, all right? They're fentanyl. Imagine when that goes away. Then imagine when you you know the food, the water, the, the the medication goes away. It's gonna get crazy. It's gonna get crazy out here. And people are gonna just start, you know, literally killing one another for, for the simplest reasons. You know? But they, they, these things must come to pass. Okay, but um, you know that's pretty much it. You know, I think I'm gonna end off this lesson. All right, but you know we're we're seeing you know these things you know unfold. And I'll say this: this is just private security. All right, you know, in this video that we saw. So how much more when real military troops come in? When it's the U.S. military? When it's the U.N. military? You know, it's gonna be no joke, man. Hey, they, especially hey, these Americans, they're about to uh, be in for a rude awakening. See all this, you know, this partying and BS lifestyle that that's been you know pushed on them for so long. Okay, once they hey, once that's you know stripped from them, they're, they're they're not gonna know how to deal with these things. See, like these other countries, you go to like a you know a China, you go to Eastern Europe, all right, you go to the Middle East, they've been dealing with this for decades, you know. Their country's been, you know, 
uh, war torn. They've been dealing with you know f different forms of martial law, okay. But see out here in the United States, everything's been good forever, pretty much. So it's it's going to be a reality check, and these people out here they they they're not ready for this. Everything's just a joke. Everything's a party. There's no seriousness, you know, in, in, in these people's minds. All right, so we, when this happens, they're, they're, they're going to freak out, basically, you know? You see? But, uh, you know, this is pretty much it. You know, hopefully this was an edifying one. You know, Salaki for, you know, talking a little, you know, a little more than expected, you know, but, you know, I had to come out, the, you know, this way. All right? But, you know, hopefully whoever was listening was still edified. And with that, you know, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all you brothers. Shalom.